Going down by the river. River, river. Down by the river with our airplane. Should be down by the river with our, our van. Our van? Yeah. What van? Don't have a van. I know, but like when, you know the old saying, like down by the river with your van? There's no such thing. Yeah, there is. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. What to do this? That's the one right there. Yeah. So we're going to land at Travelbar right here. And we're going to come in from this way. Probably gonna be too hot. We'll see. Oh, it looks good. How's this? No, a little bit here. A little bit more? Mm-hmm. Closer. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we did um, some questions off YouTube and then also I had some questions on my Instagram. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram, you should go do it. And no, 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 follow me. Also follow Sylvia. What got you into flying? So basically I've always been into flying. I actually wanted to be a helicopter pilot in high school. And then um, when I was about like nine, my grandfather actually took me for my first airplane ride. And I remember him trying to teach me the rudder pedals and it was so difficult and I was so frustrated. Um, skip a few years later, 24, I met this guy um, at our lo local airport and he took me flying down this river and it seriously blew my mind and that's what got me into buying my first airplane. What are the rules to landing on the road? Can I? So landing on roads uh, usually is a no, but here in Idaho it actually is legal to land on public roads um, if you don't cause any in fraction or disturbance to the general traffic. Um, it is legal here in Idaho. Other states, I'm not sure about. Nevada, I believe it's legal also. Um, but yeah, so some states allow it, some don't. And thanks, by the way, that you like the videos. Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite part of being an experimental airplane owner? Experimental airplanes, the biggest thing is freedom with our airplanes. We can customize them. We can change things, what we think will make it better. With a certified aircraft, you're stuck at what they did it from the factory. Like you can't even change a seat cushion without going through like six months of paperwork in a certified aircraft. So experimental aircraft is like awesome. Cool. How is Draco, Draco Destroyer coming? The Draco Destroyer, not really coming. I've been so busy um, just with, Sylvia. I have so many other projects I'm doing. It is coming along though. I just hopefully I'll get on it in like a month. What do you do for a living? This is a big one. A lot of people ask this question. Um, when I was 21, I started a company um, flying drones. Back then there was remote control helicopters. My company was RC Aerial Cam. Um, and I was one of the best uh, drone companies in the world, you know, Trent Palmer. I actually started my company before Trent Palmer. That's right. <laughs> but um, it was cool actually, Trent and I grew our companies together and we were, we were competitors and then we became friends. And also I got my, my airplane before Trent too. Um, but no, I, so I built that company up. It became uh, one of the best in the world for low aerial videography for commercials, TV shows, uh, movies and I made a ton of money. Uh, and I, I lived frugal. I lived in my dad's uh, house. Um, 
and I didn't really spend much money. So I saved it all. And basically now uh, that business is not really making much money. And that's why I'm now doing YouTube videos. And um, hopefully I can make a living off this. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for supporting uh, us and me and the channel and making this possible to make some money off YouTube. I'm trying. Did you start your fly training on a tail dragger or transition to that later on? Quick history maybe? So I actually have never flown a nose wheel. So I started on a tail wheel. Um, I started with this guy, uh, Joel, he taught me bush flying from like the get go tail wheel. Um, and I just flew the car, the cub, the X cub nose wheel uh, like two weeks ago. And that was really bizarre. I was freaked out because I felt like I was going on my nose and I was going to hit the prop. It was the weirdest feeling, but yes, I've just strictly done tail wheel. When are you getting married? We don't know yet. We don't know. <laughs> so do you want to tell the story on how we met and the whole... That's not the question. The question is when are you getting married? Well, but there's a question how we met too. So we're going to answer both of them. Okay. So last year, uh, I met Sylvia actually almost one year ago today. Uh well, no, 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 we didn't, we met like a year and two months ago <laughs> or a year and a month ago. Yeah, and then I actually took her flying and landed on, not this gravel bar, but on a gravel like bar. Like a year ago, exactly. Like a year ago, exactly. So it's kind of cool that we're back here doing this. Um, she was here selling books. Yep, I was working here doing my summer internship job, kind of, and I met his brother and sister-in-law and they told me about him. <laughs> she was selling books. She went to my sister-in-law and my sister-in-law was like, well, I have a brother-in-law that you should meet and his name's Jonas. Weird thing about Jonas is in Lithuania, it's actually a really famous name, right? It's like the most Lithuanian name I would say that there is. It's they, just Jonas. And they even have like a holiday for it, which is <laughs> yeah. really weird. Um, so thank you, mom for uh, naming me Jonas because- It got my attention for sure. It got her attention and she messaged me on Facebook. Oh no, I didn't, you did. Okay, no, she added me as a friend <laughs> on Facebook and then I was just like, who is this? You know, super googly eyed and uh, I messaged her and she was kind enough to come meet me. We think we want to get married, but like it's such a big commitment. Yeah, we take it seriously. So it's not like, uh, to get married and the other aspect of this is immigration she can only legally be here for three months and then she has to leave for three months in one day and then she can come back and trying to date that way is like extremely hard so then everyone's like we'll just get married but it's like we don't want to be pressured into getting married to to yeah. date so we're just taking it slow trying to figure it out trying to figure it out um we're having fun though. we're having fun we love each other yeah it's like it's all great it really is we're having a ton of fun we're getting to know each cade other Palmer. calling you cade you're calling me yeah we landed on a gravel bar ah yeah we just came over and stopped in front of your hangar oh shoot i, I brought my brother and mark Kirk in the oh no <laughs> shit back and, yeah oh he just hit the fly in are you guys gonna fly back there right now how far away is your gravel bar we are my plane's in the way right now, but um, it's... That's no, okay, we'll just buzz you. Yeah, it's... Keep doing your Q&A and maybe we'll mess up your audio at some point. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> As we're gonna get a buzz from Cade Palmer. Maybe a couple planes too. Kit Fox Flying's going on right now. Okay, next question. If you could change anything about the Kit Fox, what and why? The Kit Fox is a wonderful bush plane. It actually has surprised me tremendously. One thing I'd change is visibility. It is hard to see when you're taxiing and then baggage area. But some people have um, cured the baggage area by extending the back of it. It's still kind of hard getting stuff in it, but um, those are the two things. Other than that, wonderful plane, wonderful bush plane. What are the maintenance operating costs of owning a kit box? The operating and owning a kit box, actually there's not much maintenance into it. Your oil changes, um, you know, spark plugs, pretty basic stuff like that. You gotta do an annual every year. If you build your own kit box, then you can do your own annual. If you don't, then you have to have an AMP do it. That's about it. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty minimal. 
Love your videos and adventures. Have you ever ground looped the kit fox? Thanks. Uh, I have never ground looped the kit fox or any plane. Cross my fingers, knocking on wood. Um, yeah. What are your long-term plans with aviation? Instrument, commercial, or CFI in the future? So I would like to be a CFI. I love training, I love teaching. Um, I'm not sure if I would do my instrument rating. I just don't want to fly in those conditions anyways. And that's about it, be a CFI. Favorite aircraft? Favorite aircraft? Jeez, I don't know. That's a tough one. Oh, I don't know. Uh, mine, the new one that I'm building. I hope it's my favorite air aircraft. King, what plane are you currently building? The plane I'm currently building is like a mismatch of uh, like the Kit Fox, uh, Rand's kind of S7, a, my Capella. I'm just mingling them all together. It's my own design. So uh, hopefully it turns out. Cool. What's next for your channel? While Sylvia's here, I would like to teach her how to fly. She's agreed to learn how to fly, even yeah, though I'm it's, excited. It's been a struggle though. Like, yeah, but I'm excited to learn how to fly. I think, uh, yeah, I'm excited to teach her and pretty much show it from beginning to end, her actually landing, taking off the aircraft. That's that's the goal, that's the plan. So you'll see, you guys will see some of those videos. And then I still have a lot of really fun ideas to do with the Kit Fox, a little bit out of the box from flying, but uh, I'm excited to do those. So lots of stuff. How much was your first plane? My first bush plane was 18,000. Uh, it came in a kit with everything, instruments, engine, uh, 912, 80 horse. The wings were built, um, yeah. So, and then I built the rest of it. What advice do you have for those who want to get into bush plane flying? So getting, it's really kind of hard getting into the type of flying we do if you don't know someone. So my suggestion is find someone that has done some off airport landing, to ask them questions, see if they'll take you with them, see if they'll help you, mentor you a little bit. But I think that's the best way. What made you buy a Kit Fox over another brand, say Highlander or Rands? So the Rands is a wonderful plane, Rands S7. I actually flew Joel's and I was pretty blown away at the takeoff performance. It's a little bit slower than the Kit Fox. Um, so I don't know if that's outweighs buying a Rands versus the Kit Fox. The baggage area is a little bit better. Um, the reason I bought the Kit Fox is because I got a really good deal on it. And basically that's why I got this one versus a Highlander or an S20 or S7. 10 years ago, could you have imagined that you would be where you are right now? Not even. Like 10 years ago, that's when I had started my company, RC Aerial Cam. And I was just so excited about getting aerial footage from a, a remote control helicopter. And then next thing you know, I met uh, Joel. He took me flying and yeah, I'm very thankful and excited I met Sylvia. <laughs> and I'm here talking to you guys. <laughs> That's awesome. Why do you fly from a right seat? This is a big question. I get asked this so much and um, I fly from the right seat because I learned in a tandem airplane, the S7, throttle is on your left hand, stick is in your right. And I just feel so much comfortable flying like that. So that's why I fly in the right seat in the Kit Fox. I do fly in the left seat in my glass air because I have to because the brakes are on the left seat. So that is a little scary. And I'll, I will do a video on the glass air because it is a fast, fun little aircraft, but I just haven't got to it. Yeah, Costas is asking in Lithuania. Costas is asking in Lithuania if I'm gonna go on a scenic flight, scenic flight um, in the Wilga 35. And yes, I am planning on that. We are gonna be going to Lithuania in a, October. October sometime and uh, Costas has hit me up and he's gonna show me around uh, Lithuania and do a scenic flight in a Wilga. So We're you guys, excited. you guys will see that too because I'll vlog it. Yeah. Um, Hunter is asking favorite aviation memory. How long did it take you to build your kit box? Favorite aviation memory is honestly the first time flying this river. It blew my mind so much that I still remember it to this day and the excitement of flying low below tree line. So that's my favorite um, memory. 
And how long did it, I bought my kit flocks, it was already built, so I didn't have to build it. <laughs> what was the process of attaining your pilot's license like? What class license do you hold and how would you recommend the kit Fox as a first aircraft? Basically, you just need to go to an airport and find a CFI and instructor and do that. I did a video, I'll post it here. Um, go watch that video, it really will uh, teach you and show you the right way of getting your license and the quick, cheapest way to do it. Zach is asking, when do you think electric bush planes will be a thing? Electric bush planes are gonna be a thing very <laughs> soon, actually. The only problem is the longevity of flights. You're not gonna be able to fly it, but it'll be a great plane for pulling out of the hangar, going doing a evening flight in the gravel bar, and then taking it back. Maybe not the best travel plane, though. <laughs> if you could have any plane in the world, what plane would it be? Any plane in the world, what plane would it be? It'd probably be like a, a jet, like a F. Jet? Yeah, like a you Raptor. You have a jet? Yeah. I mean, it's like the most expensive plane. I don't know. What? I don't know. What you plane? don't look like a jet pilot. You know? What do you mean I don't look like a jet pilot? <laughs> no. <laughs> I cannot believe this right now. I don't look like a jet pilot? <laughs> Baby. <laughs> You look, okay, next question, next question. <laughs> you look awesome as a bush pilot. Bush plane. Bush plane, bush. Okay. <laughs> Does your girlfriend know you have this nudist fetish with your man friends? Yes, I do know. You can skip some of those. <laughs> How many hours have you accumulated and what ratings do you hold? Right now I just have a tailwheel endorsement and my private PPL. Are you officially going to become a Flying Cowboys member? I would love to become a Flying Cowboys member. I think it's um, all those guys are so badass and just legit pilots, um, but no rush. Uh, I just love, it's great that I can be friends with them right now. Is the plane okay after overheating and hauling all of the Sylvia stuff back? Yes, it's fine, it's here, it's awesome. Yes, that's good. That's good. That's good. Sylvia, you seem relaxed with flying. Do you plan to fly Jonas's Kit Fox? Have you moved to the States? Jonas, do you realize how you light up when you look at Sylvia? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just relaxed when I'm flying because I like flying. And with planning to fly Jonas's Kit Fox, maybe plan to learn how to fly it. We'll see how that goes. We'll make videos about it. But yeah, I'm excited. And I haven't moved to the United States, so I still live in this way. Mm, have you ever piloted a float plane? I've never piloted a float plane, no. What are you going to call your plane? I don't know what I'm gonna call it. I should have looked at those before. You guys, thank you for all the um, recommendations and names. Uh, I just still haven't figured out what I'm gonna call it. I'm so picky and I just wanna make sure it's the right name so I can start calling it, but I need to figure that out soon, so. We'll find out. Would be your advice on people wanting to either buy experimental or kit box? If you are looking to buy an airplane like this kit box or another one, I would suggest looking on Barnstormers or I think there's another website out there. I'll post a link when I find out. Go on there. I would suggest buying and not building unless you have a facility to build and you're somewhat good with building stuff. Um, you can usually find really good deals. You just have to wait and be ready. The Kit Fox flying is going on, so we're gonna go uh, hang out with those guys. Okay, Joe, you got about 20 seconds, and I'll be on you. Alright, take it off. Oh, 
got the boys in town. Hip hop clients. Oh, that's cool. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> Ew, who's that? That's Scott. Oh, cool. I'm pretty, yeah, that's Scott. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my god. Jonas, you have a rad backyard. Oh my yes. god. I got you. You're third turn. I mean, Mark. <laughs> Some of these scars are just insane. One, two, three, four. I like these dry ones over in the trees. No water on them, but you can definitely just drop into the trees and land. That was a cool surprise. This is pretty cool. Look at all these kit foxes. Well, that one's got a sweet paint job. That thing's sweet. Babe, what do you think of all the kit foxes? I love it. It's great. It's pretty cool, huh? Look at them all. Kit fox heaven.